All right, first question from C. Lewis4744. Would you release a prototype on Steam or itch.io to see if your game has wings? Or are there more dangers than advantages? I'm guessing that a lot depends on if you are making a living as an indie dev or just doing it as a hobby. Dangers. Um, I'm going to guess that you're talking about if you post something online, uh, a game that you're working on or a prototype, that someone's going to steal your idea. I, I think a lot of people would tell you not to worry about that too much. And I would agree. I think the thing with sharing prototypes and things that you're working on with, with game design is that there are a lot of good ideas. The, the difficulty is not the ideas, really, per se. It's the execution. So if you're working on a game or a prototype and you've got this really great idea, that's awesome. Someone's going to see that. If you're going to share anything at any point, someone's going to see that idea and that prototype. And if it's a good idea, they're going to think, wow, they may have that thought. They may even make an attempt to execute it. But from point A all the way to point Z, which is having a finished product or, or doing anything with that idea, there's a whole lot of things that can go wrong. And most people in between those points, they're, they're just going to stop and they're not going to do it. Honestly, it's the execution is the hardest part. And if you've got a good idea, uh, it's, it's good to show it. I think Steam is more of a, a place to go when you want to sell it. Itch.io, excellent place. Uh, there's no fee to upload. People are used to having indie games being on there and, and looking for indie games in that way. Um, you know, Steam, you got to put up 100 bucks to even put it on there. So I, I would do itch.io. Absolutely. And social media, share stuff on social media. If you're trying to, um, as you say, uh, see if it has wings, right? See if it's interesting. See if people are clicking with it. Social media is good for that because it's very quick and the things change over all the time. If you go on to a subreddit, um, you know, if you're working in Gato, because we, you know, we focus on Gato a lot on this channel. If you're focusing on uh, building something in Gato, then the Gato subreddit is a, is a good place because people are very eager to, to share uh, and to look at things that are being made in the engine. Um, they're pretty active. They're pretty active there. You know, going to a game dev subreddit, you're, you're kind of preaching to the choir. You could get some feedback, but for the most part, it's just people trying to show off their stuff to other people trying to show off their stuff, which is not uh, super helpful. Um, you know, places like Twitter, you can get uh, eyes on your stuff on Twitter. And again, it's very quick. Um, it does take a little bit of time to build up, but there are those you know special days like Screenshot Saturday or Trailer Thursday. And if you post something and it's interesting, especially if it's a video uh, that looks good and is short, um, or even, you know, cycles through on itself. Those, those work well. Yeah. I, I wouldn't worry about stealing really share it. If you want to build interest for your game, think about how you want to first show that prototype or that demo to people, what you're going to show and, and have a plan of attack when you're doing that. Oh, uh, uh, one other thing to that point before we uh, get too deep into this. Game jams. Game jams are awesome. Game jams are great. And it's a great way to test out a prototype. You're going to have eyes on it. You know you're going to have eyes on it. People are going to look at it and vote. And you know when it's going to happen because there's a, a time period for that voting and an endpoint to a game jam. So game jams are another good place to do that. So check that out. A uh, user rx3xl7zn1u that's rolls right off the tongue uh what are your plan what are your plans for the room behind you awesome okay yeah so i'm looking at my 
my monitor screen. So this, uh, this is my new studio. And I used to be up, which was great. I, I love that space and it worked, it worked pretty well um, for what I was, what I've been doing. The issue is I'm, as you might know, stay at home dev, I'm a stay at home dad. So I've got a, a little one who sleeps, which is when I can work. If you're a parent, especially to, to young ones, you know that the, the free time you have is very compressed. So I'm, I'm usually working during nap time uh, or really early in the morning or late, late at night. And each one of those times, she's usually, hopefully, sleeping. And the, the room that I was in was adjacent to where she is. And that just wasn't going to work. So this is the new studio. I can be as, as loud as I want. I can uh, uh, record, I can edit, I can play music, I can do all these types of things and it's not going to disturb anybody, which is awesome. And also I don't have uh, any noise coming in and I, I haven't finished the walls yet. I gotta get doors. I'm looking for um, certain doors. So it's a little bit open, but when I get this fully contained, man, this is gonna be airtight and soundproof, which I'm excited about. So. That's the plan, and in fact, uh, I could, let's let's talk about this because this is this is new. So this, um, I actually got contacted by Flexispot, and they make these standing desks. I've had a, a sponsored video earlier, and that's actually what my uh, working desk is. It's a, a standing desk, and I cannot uh, <laughs> I cannot recommend enough a standing desk. It is. I'm not gonna say life changing, but it, it's it's important because sitting is, and I know I'm sitting, I'm sitting right now, but sitting is bad. It's really bad for you, and being able to stand or or sit, depending on what you want to do at any time, and have everything sort of contained on that uh, desk and moving freely, that is is awesome. But anyway, that's a tangent. The uh, they they contacted me after the first Q and A video, and they sent. They sent this bad boy, and it's perfect because I wanted more of a, a conversational setup. I'm sorry, I'm hitting the desk, and I'm sure it's feeding back on the mic. But uh, yeah, I love it. It's a nice dark mahogany. Um, in fact, I'll um, I'll shoot some B-roll while I'm talking about it because that'll be much more interesting than me sitting here. The uh, the main thing I needed was uh, the ability to move this thing around. So. In this studio, I'm going to have different uh, set points, and uh, I, I need the ability to move things around, including this desk. And this thing comes with wheels, which is awesome. And if you've ever had a, if you have a FlexiSpot desk, you know that they're they're decently heavy duty. Like this thing can take, I think it's like 350, 375 pounds. Uh, it's got the wheels. It's got uh, this really cool. Uh, control mechanism, you can't see that here. Um, B-roll, we'll do B-roll on that. And yeah, you have presets that you can use so I can can move it up. Actually, let's move it up. Ooh, wow, ah. So you can move it up and down, which is great. Very smooth and just, it's super flexible and whatever I might need it for. And I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try a couple different things in this space and, and see, uh, see what sticks and have fun with it. So yeah, this is one set I was going to do. And then I'm going to have a set that it's against the wall and then you can have different backgrounds and, and set that up. Long ago, I wanted to put a, a green screen back there. I, I don't know that I'm going to do that <laughs> this time, but yeah, no, this desk is great. So, uh, thanks to them for, for sending it in. Uh, they did give me a couple links. So I'm gonna put those in the description. If you're if you're interested at all to, to check it out, uh, but but yeah, thanks to them for for sending this in. I think I like it. I like it. So that's what's going to happen in this space. Um, thank you for asking that. That's really cool. And I, I do want to say I, before I finish this off that the the last two videos the the response in the comments has been awesome. I did not expect to 
to have on, I didn't expect that many comments, to be honest, and I didn't know how it was going to be received. It's a very different type of video than uh, I usually do on the, on the channel. So, yeah, it's great to see the conversation. Uh, there's really been better advice than, than what I'm giving, in some cases, uh, in the comments. So that's that's great. Keep the conversation going. That's, that's kind of the point uh, to kind of talk about certain things within game development or or professional life or, or life in general, honestly. So yeah, keep the comments coming. Thanks for watching. And if you've got a question about uh, about anything, it could be game development, life, uh, what have you. Just fire it away. Do it in the comments and uh, we'll get to it in a video and we'll have some fun. Maybe we'll do a... Um, a live stream. I've never done a live stream before. Maybe we'll do a live stream. That would be kind of, that would be interesting. I think about how to set that up. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. Let's do a, let's do a live stream at some point. If you're interested, let me know in the, in the comments. We'll see. Uh, yeah. I'll, I'll catch you in the next one. And as always, keep creating.